Oh, hello. I'm a few days out from the Pan Celtic race, which is a 1,200 mile ultra road race around Brittany and through the UK. So in this video, I'm just gonna run you through the kit I'm wearing for the event, run you through the different layers I've got and kind of tell you about each scenario um, for each layer. So my standard riding kit, I'm using an Albion base layer and then I've got the new lightweight Albion jersey. Now the event's in July, so it should be fairly warm um, and hopefully this will keep me nice and cool as I go on. I'm also running Albion's pocket bib shorts, loads of extra storage for food and snacks and also really comfortable. So if you haven't seen it already, uh, I've got a separate bike check video, runs you through my Mason definition that I'm using for the event. Um, but as I said in this video, it's going to be all about clothing. So let's have a little look in the frame pack and see what my other layers are. So the first sort of layer of protection, if you like, over the, the base kind of shorts and jersey is my arm warmers. Um, so yeah, the, these go on quite a lot. Quite often they'll just be my, my pocket and my jersey. Um, and I use these if it's getting a bit chilly, quite often at night. Um, and sometimes I actually run with them um, sort of folded up over my wrist just to help cooling. There's a lot of blood vessels through the bottom of your wrist. So if you want to kind of mediate the temperature a little bit, that's a really good way to do so. If it's getting chilly or there's quite a strong wind, then the next layer for me would be my Albion lightweight gilet. Now this is really good, windproof, um, and you can just roll it up again, put it in your pocket, it doesn't take up much room, really light, and yeah, does the job perfectly. I also have a pair of knee warmers with me. Now I, again, I use those um, when it's getting a little bit chillier or if it's really windy. Um, I do get quite sore knees sometimes, so quite often I'll end up wearing these kind of quite far into the day can result in some slightly dodgy tan lines, but you've got to look after yourself, look after your body, and you know, your main working muscle, um, you know, are your thighs, your quads, and your glutes. Um, so keeping everything nice and warm really does help uh, stay injury free um, and more comfortable during the race. Now, a few other accessories to help help with heat um, and keeping it in. I've got a, an Albion Merino neck warmer. Now, I get quite a cold neck. I've got quite a long neck, so this will be used all the time probably through the nights, early mornings, and you know, if the temperatures do really drop. Now, another really important factor on these ultra races is keeping yourself dry when it's raining. So for that purpose, I've got Albion's brand new Pertex Shield rain jacket. This has some really cool features actually. So it's got like a double zip, so you can open the, the, the smaller of the two zips on the bottom just to help regulate heat without having the whole, jersey, the whole jacket flapping around. And then the main zip is really nice and big and chunky, so you can get it on when you've got cold hands, when you're riding and you don't have to stop and faff around so much. It's also got really big zip pulls, again, helps get the jersey on, uh, the, the jacket on nice and quickly. And I've gone for this nice blue color. Um, I think it looks pretty cool. A few other little accessories that help with rain. Um, I've got my rain gloves. So these are from Descent 133. They're the showerproof gloves. They're not fully waterproof, but they keep the worst of it off. Um, as the race is in summer, and we're not really going to high altitude, um, they, they should be perfectly fine. Um, the weather can be a bit grim in Wales though, so I'm not just gonna risk taking mitts um, like I probably would um, in other places. The other thing I have, I've just got a cotton cycling cap. This is a hunt one. Again, really good for keeping heat in your head and also the peak is excellent for keeping rain out of your eyes. And the final thing to help me keep dry is these rather fancy custom rain shorts from Albion. Now these are based on the Albion Zara rain trousers. Again, Pertex Shield fabric and they've custom made them for me. Well, I say custom made, custom cut off at the knees for me. And yeah, these are just a little bit lighter than the rain trousers. Again, the conditions should be relatively warm but um, I do want some rain protection. Also great if you, you know, want to take your shorts off or stay in a hotel or you know, just air everything out. So you can wear these um, as casual shorts and then sort of dry your, your, your riding shorts out. So yeah, very useful, quick and easy to get on. And yeah, an invaluable piece of equipment, especially when you go cycling in Wales. Now there's one final piece of kit I've got with me. It's not necessarily for riding with, but it is for keeping warm. Now it's in this dry bag and this is a, it's a custom piece of kit actually. So it's an Albion Zoa lightweight insulated jacket, but I've had it again, deconstructed to make it into a gilet. So I'll grab it out of the bag and show you what it is. So as you can see, this is my custom gilet. Now I use this for sleeping in, just as a little extra layer of warmth at night. I've only got a silk sleeping bag liner for my um, accommodation. As it's a road ultra, there's normally plenty of shelter, so you can normally keep a bit warmer, but this will be my main layer of, of insulation for that. I've also got a little merino hat in my pocket, 
again you lose a lot of heat through your head so hopefully this will help stop that the other great thing about this is if i do stop have a mechanical have a puncher anything like that where i'm going to stop and potentially get cold i can just chuck it on over the top of all my cycling kit and yeah help keep keep warm and save energy so that's all the kit i'll be using for the pan celtic race if you haven't done so done so already have a look at my bike check video and yeah hopefully you'll enjoy dot watching i'll put the link to the race down below Give us a, a like and a subscribe if you like this kind of thing and I'll see you again after the race.